need are a Sharpie, a pencil, an eraser, and some kind of interesting object that you find around your house. Also, you're going to need a flashlight. This is um, part of a headlamp that I took apart and has a really bright light. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast shadows using the flashlight onto the object and we're gonna trace the um, shadow that the light makes. And this is a great way to make um, non-objective art um, that you don't need to worry too much about what it looks like. You're just looking for interesting shapes and you're tracing them. And then afterwards we're gonna paint them. So I'm gonna turn out my big light so you can see the shadow that the light is gonna cast. So, and I'm going to put it right about there and you can see I had the shadow right here. So I'm just going to go around and loosely, this does not have to be exact, we're just kind of having fun here. And this makes a shadow like that. And then I just go around the object and go right back to where I started. Okay, and then I'm just going to move it around and um, see what interesting shapes come from there. So I finished tracing all the shadows of the shell and you could see that I was moving the paper around as I went, I'm overlapping the shapes and I have a variety of shapes, but yet at the same time, they have some similarities, these little parts that come out from the shell. So now I'm gonna take my black Sharpie and I'm gonna outline all the shapes. I've got all my shapes traced, and now I'm gonna use my eraser and get rid of my pencil lines before I paint. The nice thing about this is there isn't a whole lot of decision making that needs to be done, so if you are someone who doesn't normally make art, it kind of takes the pressure off and the anxiety out of it, and the whole point of this is to do something that's relaxing. And um, once I get all these lines erased, then really we're just gonna be going in and playing with color and sort of looking at all the shapes that we've made by overlapping. And I just find that so relaxing. I even like watching people online painting. It just makes my blood pressure lower. And, but it's even better if you can do it. It's nice to watch someone, but it's also great to do the process as well. I filled in this area and I feel like the whole image looks complete now. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you feel more relaxed after playing with shadows and painting the shapes that they made. I filled in this area and I feel like it's complete now. I really hope you enjoyed this video and the process of playing with shadows and painting.
I finished painting all of the shapes that I initially made, but I do want to add a little bit more right here. I feel like it's missing. So I'm just going to make a curvy line and paint that. And then this will be all done. Sure. I think that's what we're here for. Yes, you, you got to move everything. I know it's ridiculous. If you see her, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna videotape something. Will you let him know? Well, so I had to take it off.